What's up everyone, it's me no Shakeshin and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can create this kind of video easily without even have a knowledge of 3D software or Premiere Pro After Effects or any kind of 3D and 2D animating software. So how you can make this kind of cool and looking anime style or manga style or comic style animation without any hesitation. So let's get started. Here's my roll off of my intro. So guys, here you can see I'm gonna search this software and this is called the Vidoid Studio. Vidoid Studio, it's a specially designed studio, especially for the anime and manga design. So you can see I've opened this a uh, video studio website from the browser and you can see the website is loaded and simply you need to download for your desired operating system like I'm using Windows so I prefer to download the Windows so you, you can also download it from stream and as well as it's also available for Mac OS so first you need to accept or read these terms conditions and then you can easily download it from this given link you can see the demo over there you can easily create any kind of promotions you can create design your beautiful anime characters like any kind of animation style so you can follow some new settlers over there you can easily follow their characters and you can easily download their initiative character models. So let's get started. So first press this windows and it will automatically start downloading. You can see from this side. Now pause it because I have already downloaded. The installation process is quite simple like other installation wizard. It's just simple as you can download other pirated games. So most of the time it's simple and it's neat. You need to follow some steps like easily accept those terms and conditions. Press next and it will download all the resources, materials for you. The total package size will be like 395 MB. Or if you have any other resources you need to download it separately. So I've already downloaded it so you can see this one is the Hero Studio. 1.22.0 so here is the version the latest version of Hero studio now let's open this software and look after this so you can see the video studio is opened so currently you can see there are one simple uh, model section and there are kind of the create new options over there and if you have already created your uh, characters or your sample model you can find it over there I've already made one and you can also follow the notification by clicking on this you can see the update logs and news and then uh, simply if you want to create your first Fedoid project just simply create a new so here you need to select the base size means your characters is the fem means the female or female body also you can even create your female body with the uh, main style so now i'm going for the female body because i like to create this kind of beautiful anime girl so now give some time so you can see this operation takes only little time so you'll find this kind of model with uh, a small and stretchable and so much clean UI interface for this video software with additional much more options so first simply let's talk about how we can control the space or workspace so you can easily uh, work like any blender if you already experienced before you can simply right click on your mouse and you can simply rotate three directional space you can see or you can if you want to zoom in out you can easily go in or out with the mouse well 
but uh, it takes long time to move so you can easily press control also you can see the control moves faster and you can easily simply uh, check uh, your project or model and with the help of mouse click you can change the position you can see so now list uh, you can start building with uh, and changing uh, its uh, hair, its eyes you need to simply just uh, add uh, this kind of faces this kind of style for your narrative or you can easily change the body texture the uh, orientation and the anatomical setup so now let's check out some options so we are in face sets so you can find these faces and you can also search more from the booth this booth is basically the online library where you can easily find more of these options so now let's change it with some random so you can see I've changed and this looks quite good but uh, I would like to go with some thing yeah something like matching with the anime so let's go with it so now you can see on my right side so here is some parameters so you can easily adjust the eye size with this slider so here you can see there are much more slider you can uh, take times to you can easily change any size you like you can increase no size no parameters no scale uh, this on the axis one and you can change anything you like so and uh, there the second option so here you can see there is a lot of options regarding the eyes you can change it with whatever eyes you want okay so you can even make it like a ghost kind of thing our ghost kind of anime character can be lose it here's a uh, uh, eye highlight it really nice to make it much more so you can see there is nothing you don't have to do uh, a single thing but you can easily draw uh, your custom texture with this edit texture option so there will be a additional um, window for that so if you have any kind of tablet uh, or any kind of additional uh, slate so you can easily draw a texture of your uh, I mean of your uh, uh, character so you can easily select the brush width size and color from this section you can change or you can flip whatever you want so now I'm going for the selection again so you can see I can easily uh, drag it and drop it for my quick workflow and so I'm now closing my texture editor because I don't need it so close without saving so I've closed my texture and here you can also change this eyebrows you can change it whatever you like and then the eyeliner you can also change the eyeliner eye slashes so these are also the girl thing i don't have any knowledge much knowledge about it and you can change also the nose type your mouth cheeks okay basically face paint okay means these are the reactions you can add some reactions over it scars some scratches kind of Naruto style you can do everything here the expression editor is the main thing where the last one is happen like you can add expressions like animations here we are in neutral stage you can see and if we're pressing the smiling it starts smiling is sad is angry these are the expressions you can see 
you can easily go for the smiling ratio you can change those parameters from the right side and now go for the hairstyle you can give any kind of hairstyle you like like to go for this one you can change the hair color from this drop down where you can paste or you can change it from further from here if you like you can simply change from font side you can customize like before uh, change it whatever you like now it's time for the body you can change your body type so I'm doing it my own so here you can change the skin color your light color dark color any kind of shadows over it you can even change body size everything as size even go for the outfit here are the, here are many of the outfit you will find the black one I like most most of the time is the bottom I like shorts or uh, it will be a skirt especially a school girl okay yep and then you can also add sky tighter or wider whatever you can make it short long to make it more long and here are some more dresses like old Japanese like kimono and much more dresses with some neck wise so you can find much more thing if you like you can add also arm things because so you're a hoodie person so I'm gonna skip this you can add bra kind of inner outer you can add socks because socks are important so I'm gonna add it you can also add the stock if you like which one is better I guess this one is better yes you can also add the shoe you like this one it's good a uh, perfect school girl now go for the accessories uh, so there are no accessories right now but you can add one uh, glass if you like to so I'm adding this character glass you can change also the color of your glass change the position rotation you can do everything on your 3d space and here is the look you can change the uh, body uh, I mean manga style some you can keep something shadings over there has a shading area so now you will find this uh, three dot you can easily save as uh, your custom uh, model or you can easily uh, press this once to find settings for more options and then uh, change it to the high 3d preview quality and now you can simply press this photo option which will give you a uh, basic window with the lots of uh, animation packs which are the, the default animation packs so you can see we are in the default stage here's a neutral face and if we want to change the eyes position we can simply uh, change it you can see we can simply change it the eye position can even blink we can even steal so you are on the look at the camera we can be a neutral we can be smile can be anxious 
happiest person. So you can change any custom name you like according to the options. So you can even click a picture. So for this video, I'm going to tell you how you can uh, make a video from this because there is not a single video option over there you can see not a single video option so how we can easily make video so now let's move on poses and animation the main part of animation so now first go to the posing and this one is very important because you can easily change the pose the hand movement from this basically these are our joints our bones and you can change any kind of thing you can even dance like this you can even create dances you can create if you like you can pause if you want a uh, default uh, animation so move back to the animation back here you can press one so it goes to the standby you can stand by, you can do animations like it, like this, uh, like my video. You can do some action shots, you can dance, you can some do pose like Korean, Japanese girl. You can do some kind of uh, standby. These are basically standby, it doesn't help much. You can jump. You can run like it you can see you can create any animation movie or animation you can create kind of you can export this model first then move to blender you can create a street and you can easily make a running girl and you can easily do some kind of swipe like um, football playing so you can do whatever you like uh, there is everything so we can do anything so i've used this one first time light down so you can change whatever you like so i'm going for this right now you can even change the background you can import any background picture from here or you can easily change the background so let's change it to hadia so i've changed my background now the lighting part is main and difficult so you need to set up the lighting for your character so I'm set it like this you can see you can easily adjust lighting so it's by default it's now white you can change your light color or with the character but it also change uh, give it some like that so we have to adjust it again so it's not just it. Now go for the wind. Because so you want to uh, add wind. We want to uh, make the hair and other cloths uh, with the movement. You can see we can easily go for the y-axis. Means the vertical and z-axis also. So it's done. And here's the post processing. You can add anti analyze with the high setting. It means it has some brighter and there will be no uh, frame dropping. You can add blooming. It's a natural anime style. You can make intensity like high or low. Threshold means the cover, the area it covers. And you can do some color grading, like if you want to change some temperature from here and change tint, some heavy saturation. You can make it like comic, you can see. Or you can disable this, so you can add some motion blur for natural look. For motion blur, you can see in this uh, Y axis there, a lot of uh, distortion, so we need to make it some less and change the Y settings. So it's now almost done. Basically, I have to go with comic. So I'm changed to comic section. And you can see it's really nice. So how we can easily shoot it. 
So first you need to download OBS. So you can see I'm now currently recording with my OBS. So you need to set up this OBS because I'm already running. So uh, there will be no another chance to open it. So I can easily go with that OBS. So here is the another um, uh, window for telling you how we can record. So you simply just uh, place this window according to this uh, your screen position. So first we need to change some also settings like pick size from here. Change it to full HD or uh, 4K. So you can see there are transparency um, uh, like black bars goes in here so you need to place this camera uh, like that simply you can easily uh, do like that or you can simply uh, capture this scene easily with start recording so after that you will get a beautiful animation like this Thanks for watching. Hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please subscribe my channel and help me to reach out thousand subscribers. And it basically a lengthy video for animators and for others who uh, wants to try animations like professional way or professionally. So you can do this kind of thing, uh, a simple thing easily so yep that's all so if you are worried about finding my channel you can easily go to youtube and search for noshi action it's a cool name i know that and subscribe comment down below if you have any questions and if you want any other visual videos regarding this kind of tutorials i'll surely bring it up with you and don't forget to subscribe subscribe and subscribe yep. guys thanks for watching if you like this video and stay tuned.